Before gas reaches your home or your business, it has to travel through part of the national distribution network. Scotia Gas Networks owns and operates two of the largest regional gas distribution networks in Britain, serving 5.7 million customers in Scotland and the south of England, including here on the Isle of Wight. The pipeline under the Solent has been delivering gas to the island for over 40 years and we've been working to replace these pipes with new ones to ensure our customers receive a safe and reliable gas supply now and in the future. As experts in what we do, Scotia Gas Networks recognise the engineering challenges the Cross Solent Gas Pipe Replacement Project would bring. It's taken several years of careful planning to find the best location and the best construction techniques for the new gas pipes. And with the Isle of Wight being an area of outstanding natural beauty, we've been working closely with the local community and environmentalists to minimise the impact on the environment. In 2010, the Cross Solent Gas Pipe Replacement Project was given the go-ahead by the government and the local authority. In August 2010, work began in Leap on the UK mainland and in Gurnard on the Isle of Wight. Currently there are three pipelines which have been laid um, about 40 years ago on the seabed and these pipelines are now near the end of their useful life so we, we are laying the new pipelines to replace the existing. We're constructing two new high pressure gas pipelines below the Solent to feed the Isle of Wight and to do this we're using a technique called horizontal directional drilling. Whereas the existing pipes had been laid on the seabed, the preferred option this time was to drill a route underneath the Solent and then pull the pipes through to the island. Contractors appointed and managed by SGN included specialist HDD teams. They were able to commence drilling from both sides of the Solent with the two drills intersecting at a midway point 40 metres below the seabed. The mainland drill was then withdrawn and the drill on the island continued through to the mainland. The team would then use this drill to pull through the new pipeline. But this intersection wasn't the only challenge. A world record was being broken. The fundamental challenge with the crossing of this nature comes down to its length of 4,000 metres long, it's 